Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am testing out the new Rouge Allure Lac Lipsticks from Chanel. This arrived just a couple hours ago, so we will open and unbox everything together. Now, unfortunately, my local beauty boutique won't receive these until early next week, I'm told. So I don't have a photo or video of all of the swatches. Chic Profile Official has all of the swatches on her Instagram page, so I will pop up the photo. I think it does help give you an idea of what they look like. And then as soon as I can, I will go to store and I will swatch them myself or I will have Gio swatch them on his arm. That way you can see the shades in live video. I think it makes a difference. I have been so excited about these, so I pulled up the information on Chanel.com. These retail for $40, a little bit pricier than the traditional $38 Chanel lipstick. They're available in 20 different shades, and I believe they're all available now. When they first launched a couple days ago, you could only order 10, and then 10 were available for pre-order. But I think today is the day that all of the shades are available. They are meant to be a liquid lipstick that combine ultra intense color with long wearing satin shine in one swipe. The Rouge Allure Lac is infused with two types of polymers to preserve color intensity and help with hydration. They're water resistant, creamy, fluid texture that glides on smoothly and lasts up to 12 hours, little asterisk. Lips feel comfortable for up to eight hours says this was a clinical test with 21 women. So 21 is a teeny tiny sample size, but lasting up to 12 hours, it sounds like they're meant to be somewhat comparable to the Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenu double-sided longwear lipsticks. These have been my favorite Chanel lipstick formula for years, even when they were in the round tube before they changed the packaging, updated all of the shades. So I did pull out all of my colors minus the ones that I keep in my purse, but I have all of these here. So we will test out the new formula first, and then I will swatch all of these so you can see side by side what they look like. I picked out four out of the 20 shades that I thought looked really beautiful. They're different from my collection, I hope, and I wanted variety, so I think I have two nudes, a pink and a red. I did my best to avoid picking up too many reds, but with a new formula, all rolls go out the window, but I wanted something from all areas of the spectrum. Sometimes lighter shades perform different than darker shades. That is definitely true for these long wear lipsticks. The darker shades don't look as great as long as the lighter shades. But here I have number 61, Continuous, 71, Myth, number 60, Inflexible, and 70, Immobile. Let's see the applicator. The traditional angled, slightly tapered doe foot wand. So it's the same size as a Rouge Allure ink. I don't know why in my mind I thought it was going to be a little bit taller. Similar to the old Rouge Coco lip glosses, if you guys remember those. I knew it wasn't going to be quite this big, but it actually just looks like the Rouge Allure ink. Gold cap and everything, except it's that dark ombre. It's really luxurious looking. I moved in a little bit closer so you can really see the shade up close. This looks so pretty. In the photo, it almost looks a little bit more sheer than the others, and it has a hint of sparkle. So let's see. <gasps> Ooh, first swipe. I'm excited. I have nothing on my lips right now. So this one does seem sheer. The others do not. pretty. This is weird. It's just not at all what I expected. It looks pretty. It's a light frosty lip. Remember how I talked about how much I hate a light frosty lip? <laughs> Here I am. It does sort of look similar to that Tom Ford Soleil Balm, which I ended up purchasing. It gives that same effect. It just adds a luminosity to the lips, but it's very natural. It's starting to dry down a little bit. Hmm. It's so sheer. I almost feel like I need to layer more, but I don't know if that will ruin it because I've made that mistake before. I don't remember. I think it might've been the Rouge Allure ink 
but I went in with too much product and then it does get really drying. I don't think this is going to get dry, but maybe it will start cracking and creasing funny. If you build it up a little bit, it has more of a light copper tone to it, which is nice. I just wiped that off, so now I'm going in with number 61, Continuous. The applicator looks pretty peachy, but this is supposed to be one of the nudes. It does look more peach. Let's see. Oh, wow. I'll have to reference the photo again, but I'm almost certain I picked up a nude where it looked nude. I love this shade. This shade is really beautiful. When I was on a peach kick earlier this year, springtime, this would have been perfect. I still really like it now. I love a peachy nude. Not at all what I expected. I thought it was going to be more of a true nude. And even this shade does look a little bit more sheer. If you're familiar with the double-sided longwear lipsticks, when you apply the lipstick side, the pigment side, and you wait a minute for it to dry down before you apply the gloss, that's how this starts to feel. It starts to get a little bit tacky. It's not sticky. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't have quite the same slip as a lip gloss, but it's not really, really smooth either. Next up, I'm going to try shade 70 in Mobile. Immobile. It looked like a bright fuchsia pink. I thought about picking up one of the lighter pinks as well. I'm going to wait until I see them in store. Now this is pretty opaque. The first two looked so sheer. This does not look sheer at all. I'm so glad they aren't all sheer. Looks like the darker colors have more pigment. They go on more opaque. I'm not sure how this color is going to translate, but in person, it looks like a very bright strawberry fuchsia pink. There, I wanted to apply a little bit more. I love this color. I love how they feel. Just enough slip, but not too much glide. They seem like they're going to stay put. It's not going to bleed all over the place. Wherever you apply the lipstick, that's where it's going to stay. Right now, I'm just a little bit nervous about this in here. You know, that inner rim area it sometimes gets funny. It's not a problem right now, but I am curious to see how that's going to hold up later on in the day. My lips look really hydrated. They look smooth which is always my number one complaint about matte lipsticks. Even if they feel okay and they don't feel really drying, they don't look exceptionally pretty because you can still see all of the little cracks. And finally, the last shade of lipstick I have to try is 71 Myth, which looks like it has a metallic finish. I don't know why I was so drawn to the metallic finish. I guess because it was different than the other shades. So let's see. I have the metallic Rouge Allure ink, so I'm kind of curious to compare the two. See, now this one looks sheer. 70 didn't look sheer. Maybe it's just such a bold color I couldn't tell. This one also looks kind of sheer. Looks really sheer. What? Hmm. Very strange. It's okay, I don't love this on its own. It's not really going on very even. And I don't like the fact that it's sheer because it just looks sort of strange. Maybe it's the metallic finish. The fact that I can still see my lips underneath, it just looks wrong. It doesn't, doesn't look right. 
with the lighter shade so this is the red version of the first one I tried on 60 with the light shade it, it's fine it works with the red it just looks really uneven let me build it up a little bit more it looks better when you build it up and I think on top of another lipstick it will probably be fine so I'm not worried about this I don't think it's a waste or anything like that but by itself you just really have to build up the color or else it looks patchy here you can see all four lacs are swatched just to compare I have my metallic beige Rouge Allure ink The colors are pretty similar, but you can see this one does have a shinier finish. Next I want to try the metallic red. These two have a similar finish, but they are different shades of red. This one is more warm, this one's more blue based. But I think comparing the two shows you just how sheer this one is. I thought I would have more long wear lipsticks to compare to the Lax, but I don't own anything that looks similar to this. Here's Timeless Beige. They're very different. When I see them in store, I'm gonna try to pick up a brown-based nude. There were a couple other nude options. I like the peach, but I want something that looks more like Timeless Beige. I'm back wearing shade 61 Continuous. This is going to be my lipstick of the day. I just love this color. It is the perfect everyday shade. These lipsticks are throwing me at the moment because they're all a little bit different. The first one is so sheer. It really goes on like a light frosty lip balm, a light frosty lip gloss that dries down. It's not opaque at all. It's really beautiful. I think this could be worn alone or on top of something else. It reminds me so much of the metallic beige Rouge Allure ink. And then this shade that I'm wearing right now goes on a little bit sheer, but you can build up the color. It's a little bit peachier than I expected, but still really pretty. I love this. I love the way it feels. And because it's more of a natural shade, I don't have a really harsh, distinct line on the inside of the lip. So this one I'm incredibly happy with. I love shade 70. I think this one is my favorite. It's that perfect strawberry fuchsia. Really beautiful color. This went on so opaque, it wasn't sheer at all. I don't know if that's true for all of the deeper, brighter colors, but this was like one swipe and you're done. Compared to this one, <laughs> the Myth, shade 71, which again flip-flopped and went back to being more sheer with that metallic finish. This one is my least favorite, unfortunately, because the only reason I picked this up is because it was metallic and I thought it would be amazing or else I would have skipped this and I would have gone for one of the lighter pinks or a more wearable color. I really didn't need any more red lipsticks. I was tempted by the metallic finish and it bit me. It's fine, I will build up the color, I will layer it on top of something else, I'll make sure I use it. But by itself, this one is not the most flattering. It looks a bit uneven. Even though I thought they were going to be glossy and they're not, I do really like the finish because the lips look really plump. They look really hydrated and they feel really nice as well. My lips were peeling earlier, but that's just because I had dry lips. So I would recommend if you also get dry lips sometimes, just make sure you go in with a lip scrub before you apply and it should go on really smooth. I don't think you'll have any problems because now they look great. It feels like the mystery of these lipsticks has finally been solved because I've been sitting here wondering what they were going to be like ever since they were announced. You know, where were they going to fit in among the other Chanel lipsticks? Now I feel like I have a better idea and first impression is that I really like them. I think the only question left to be answered is if they are actually long wearing. 12 hours, 8 hours comfortably is what it says online. So I'm gonna keep this on for a little while longer, as long as I possibly can. And then I will check in later on and I will keep you posted. I'm doing my first check-in of the evening. I've had this lipstick on my lips now for five hours. I know that's not close to eight or 12, but I still think that's a really long time 
considering where we are. It has not cracked, creased, nothing. It hasn't faded at all in five hours. Now, I didn't end up running the errand I needed to, so I haven't had a mask on, and I've really just been cleaning, organizing, editing, working on projects. I did walk jazzy. My foundation looks uneven there, but it's actually because I had a clogged pore. Sad. Masks. What can you do? This lipstick looks so much better than 99% of my lipsticks. After five hours, it's that good. Because it still looks hydrated. I don't want to say the word moist because I know some people hate that word, but my lips look plump. I'm so impressed. A bullet lipstick wouldn't do this. The longwear lipsticks definitely could. At this point, those lipsticks might be a little bit drier. They would definitely have more of a matte finish and I wouldn't be able to rub my lips together unless I reapplied the gloss. I'm gonna eat dinner and then I will come back. We are now six hours in, one meal, one snack, and look at the lips. Still just about perfect. When I look close, I can see where it's starting to disappear, but really it is not bad. And six hours later, I just had dinner, I had a snack earlier. I, I think this is one of the best long wear lipsticks I have. I'm really happy. I'm about to get ready for bed, so I have to sign off. Unfortunately, I'm not going to make it to the eight hour mark, let alone the 12 hour mark. But looking at the lipstick now, I feel like it's safe to assume that another two hours I would still have lipstick on. Maybe it wouldn't look perfect at 12 hours, but I would probably still have a little pigment left on my lips depending on the shade you pick up. It might be fine. I think the lighter shades you have more wiggle room than the darker shades. I'm impressed. You have to pardon my mess back there. That's everything I'm giving away for the 12 days of Christmas and I have not forgotten. So before we close out this video, this is day four of 12 days of Christmas. One lucky subscriber is going to win the Get Glossy Lip Gloss Kit, the Foil Petal Illuminator, and the Extra Lip Tint Sheer Indulgence Trio from Bobbi Brown. All you have to do is subscribe with notifications, follow me on Instagram at TV, like and comment on this video, include your Instagram handle because that's how I will contact the winner. This giveaway is going to be open for 72 hours. Good luck to everybody who enters. All of the information will be down below in the description box. And we still have eight more giveaways after this, so don't give up. Enter all of them. It's open internationally. I have no problem shipping overseas and somebody's gonna take home some really great stuff So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it If you did give it a thumbs up leave me your comments questions down below as always I will be linking all of the lipsticks mentioned in today's video down in the description box and for more videos like this Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell